On the last vidya. I see. Then please eat me. And now we continue. Jell... Jell is something... No. You'll think of something. I have faith in you, Syrup. What's going on over here? I'm trying to come up with a name for her. You're naming her? What happened to Candy Golem's Aunt Pets? Well, I can't just keep calling her Candy Weirdo. Technically you could. No, we really should give you a proper name. How about Gumdrop? Gumdrop! It's a nice name. I think she likes it. Yes! I knew if it was syrup, she'd pick something good. <laughs> Woo! Oh gosh. Oh, new voices. Oh. Uh. Hello, hello! The Chocolate Brothers are making their entrance. Yes, we've heard your shop has gotten a lot more interesting as of late, so we decided to pop in. I'm giving them the same voice because I'm running out of ideas already. <laughs> hello! Welcome to the sweet shop! Oh, Candy Alchemist, you've got sugary golems for sale now. How charming. But if we're not mistaken, isn't magic necessary in their making? Unless you find a way to create life for your alchemy. She's our assistant, and I didn't make her. Oh, mysterious. Oh, that little smirk. Look at that little smug bastard with flowers in his hat. Oh, no. I am completely taken with her. May I offer you flowers, my lady? Magic flowers? You're very good, sir. Can you not do that in here? I don't want your magic dust getting all over my goods. You haven't changed one bit, Candy Alchemist. Our apologies. Syrup, you should not boss around these kind, well-dressed customers. Are you sassing me? In my own store, I'll do what I want. Hmm. Would you... Perhaps be interested in selling this one. She's quite adorable. Hmm. Like, if I choose this, will they, like, instantly take her away? Or... I don't know. I don't know. I mean, how much are they gonna offer, though? I just named her, though. I mean, I just named her. I gotta keep her. You can buy any other candy in here, but this one's mine. Syrup, I am delighted that you think of me as yours. Don't take it the wrong way. You just work for me. Your looks are good for business. What a shame. Golems are said to be such excellent servants. We've come to want one of our own. You two can do magic. Make one yourselves. Oh, no, no. It is very high-level spell that requires a focused passion. Even our combined powers couldn't result in anything close to that. I like how that one's wearing a dress. I just realized that. You are adorable. Good sir, you are adorable. I'm... I'm... Wrong voice. I'm sure you could get it if you tried. Not that I know anything about magic. Ten bucks says he made her. <laughs> well, well. We'll just have to give it a go sometime then. Hmm. Now, I suppose we should purchase something sweet and be on our way. Caramel sounds lovely, doesn't it, brother? We have that. Allow me to assist you at the register. It's fucking gross. She's so friendly, isn't she? I think she ever does it. Whatever keeps customers happy, though. Hey, Pesto, is it true not just any old witch can make a golem? Huh? Well... You don't see very many walking around, so that sounds about right. Hmm. Penny for your thoughts. Just wondering what Butterscotch's actual skill level is when it comes to this kind of thing. Well, it's like you said, if Butterscotch didn't make her, then who did? She seems to listen to you. Do you know where I'm going with this? N no. Ask her to tell you who her creator is. Since she won't tell me, you're my only hope, dude. Uh, oh, I already asked when I was trying. When I was training her for work, no luck there, sorry. Uh, I'll try to get out of her one some way or another. Twenty bucks says he made her. 
To change the subject, I'm surprised to see you out of that basement during store hours. Was there any particular reason for that? Yeah, I was planning on... Mm, definitely supervising Gumdrop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, not really leaving, I'm not going to be. I'm... Yep, they're in lesbians. I'm confirmed for lesbians. Looking after a new assistant. Hey, Gumdrop! Do you need something, Syrup? Let's do something together. I want to work with you today. In that case, I am interested in learning about the process of candy making. Could you show me how it's done? Can... So you can steal my recipes? Not at all! I... I thought it would be nice. Nice, nice bonding experience, but... If you do not wish to... I guess I don't mind. Just... I've got my eye on you. Definitely gonna find out what your deal is. Bonding with syrup! Huzzah! Right. Well, you two have fun. Then, after you pour in the syrup, you let it boil for a while. The temperature is different depending on what kind of candy you're making. Syrup is a secret ingredient? How fun! There's no secret ingredients, it's just regular hard candy. It is still exciting! What comes next? Flavor. Then you pour it all out. Add some citric acid and colors and make it in whatever shape you want before it cools and hardens. Rolling it around is kind of the fun part. Here, when this batch is ready, I'll, I'll give you some gloves so you can join in. Syrup! For these candies, I would like to use the colors we bought together. Oh yeah? Yellow it is then. Mm-hmm. Ba -da 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 -da. Does singing to the candy make it taste better? I will join you! La la la! No, singing has nothing to do with it. It's just kind of a habit I have since usually no one's down here with me. I think your candy is appreciated anyway. That's enough rolling. Let's wait for them to cool off. Gross, they're so gross. Oh god, they're so fucking cute. It should be ready now. Here, try it. Actually, wait, would eating this make you a cannibal? I was not made with the ability to taste things, so I will pass. Huh. What other senses are you missing? Taste is related to smell, which I am also incapable of. You sound pretty cheery for someone missing out on some major sensory experiences, Gumdrop. I also do not feel pain, so being a candy person does have its advantages. Hmm. I guess it's just a matter of perspective then, huh? So, why'd you want to make candy with me if you can't enjoy any of it? Was it just a spy on me after all? I did enjoy it! I now have a better understanding of where I come from! I didn't make you, though. Well, still! But maybe your, your parts were actually made by me? <laughs> Which does buy enough candy for me, so it's definitely possible. If you would like to know for sure, you could always try a bite. Trying to trick me into eating you again? That's not gonna happen. It doesn't matter what you're made of. What I really want to know is who put you together. I cannot tell you that. I'm sorry. Figures. We're done here. Give that tray of candies to Pastel. I'm going out for a while. Syrup. Oh, great. New voice. Hmm. Uh. Eh. Uh. Eh. <laughs> Vocal cords. Hmm. You know, this is the struggle of the games I play. I wish I had a webcam so you could just see my the light leaving my eyes as I stare into the distance. Ugh. Uh, oh, she suddenly came out! Toffee! What do we do? Butterscotch? Cat? What are you doing creepily lurking outside my store? It really hurts my feelings when you don't remember my name. Yeah. Don't dodge the question and don't try to run away! <laughs> Who's running away? This is a public road. We're well within our rights to loiter here. We came to see your gun. Yeah. <clears throat> Toffee told me 
she's doing quite well in your hands. You know, that golem that I magnificently crafted. Yep, your little spy is a pretty diligent worker. Makes it worth keeping her around. I was just here to check in on her. That's right, see for myself how diligent she's been at um, spying up close. Unless you're gonna buy something, I don't want you in my store. I bought some dosh. I can. I brought. I brought some. Yep. That's. Mm, that's. I'm assuming that is the currency. Yep. I can buy your candies if it means I can check out your my golem. Whatever. As long as you behave yourselves. Oh, it's the kitty from before. Who's your friend? This is my master, the great and powerful witch Butterscotch. Be grateful she is gracing me with her presence. Yeah. Oh, there she is. Such beautiful gummy skin. And oh, if I could just try a bite of that hair. You haven't already? That's odd, considering that you claimed to meet her. But that's because I, I had to send her over in flawless condition. I showed a lot of restraint, you know. But it paid off. She's perfect. Now, Master is at her limit. You should let her have a taste before she loses it. Yeah. Absolutely not. You can have any other candy in here except Gumdrop. Wow! How cruel! You just want to keep her all to yourself, don't you? I'll... I'll put up with it for now. Just don't forget who that goal actually belongs to. Me! Yeah, yeah, enough whining. Just... Buy something and get out, and don't get any of your gross magic or drool on my stock. My magic isn't gross, and you should take this drool as a compliment. Yeah. Come on, Toffee, let's blow this popsicle stand. Mm, not a popsicle stand, it is a lollipop stick. Next time those two come by, we should really just pretend we're closed. Syrup? Do you dislike Miss Butterscotch? She's a witch. You dislike... You dislike witches? Some more than others. Butterscotch is the worst, though. She thinks my alchemy has nothing on her magic, which is totally wrong, of course. Then why does she buy so much of your candy? Because no matter how hard she tries, her magical candies never taste as good as mine. She probably thinks if she eats enough of them, she'll absorb the knowledge. If she really thought her magic was better, I do not think she would support you by buying so many of your candies. You should be nicer to her. Whatever. Whether or not... Would the, I'm having a stroke, Gumdrop, help me. <laughs> Whether or not she means what she says, it's her attitude that drives me up, up the wall. It, I'm just not capable of being nice to someone like that. What do you care, anyway? I would like for Seraph to get along with everyone! Is that what your creator wants, too? For me to be friends with Butterscotch so she can get free candy from me? That's not the intention. Sai, don't... Don't give us such a hard time. She's working really hard for us. You were listening? Master Pastel, I do not think Seraph trusts in me. What should I do? Don't worry, Gumdrop. Once she sees you're a good person, I'm sure she'll come around. Right, Sai? We'll see. Gumdrop, what are you doing in my lab? Oh, Syrup! I'm organizing your bookshelf! Why? What are you even doing up right now? The store doesn't open for a few hours. I do not require sleep. Anyway, you shouldn't come down here without permission and start moving my things around. I don't like it. Oh, may I come in and... You already did, but whatever. I guess it's fine. Syrup, I've noticed a trend with the books in your personal library. Oh yeah? What's that? They're all very boring. Gee, thanks. Only one book is abnormal. It is the only one with a reference to magic. Magic? There would have- wait, isn't this- Oh yeah! It's an old fairy cook- Yeah, old fairy- the, the, the fairy. Yep, fairies. Fairies! Fairies! Fairy godparents! 
It's an old family cookbook. My grandma wrote it. I am sensing high levels of nostalgia. Syrup's cold heart has been softened by memories from days long past. Yeah, yeah. See this page here? When I was a kid, making this was my dream. The ultimate sweet. A legendary confection said to have only been crafted once before by the greatest alchemist in the world. Flavor rating, 100 stars. Shelf life, eternal. Those who partake in the sweet are blessed with great fortune. Upon consumption, a temporary enlightened state is attained, and you find yourself crying for reasons you cannot place. Obtaining the ingredients for the ultimate sweet require both magical talent and mastery of science, making it exceedingly difficult, if not utterly impossible, for one person to create on their own. The ultimate sweet? Is it yummy? Only the most delicious thing to ever exist. I used to tell Pastilla I was going to make it one day so that he could taste it. But, like the book says, the main ingredient is impossible to find without magic. I guess I kind of gave up on it. Master Pastil wanted to eat this? Yeah, a long time ago. Probably forgot about it by now. Syrup, we should make it! Uh, like I said, I had to give up on it. Can't you... You, you can't make it without magic, so I don't want to. But we can ask, um, I mean, a witch can help us. Not happening. You should not give up on your dream. This is, this is our chance to work together and get along even more. You're always going on about that. Are you obsessed with being friends or something? Precisely! All right, candy weirdo. Let's figure out a way to make the ultimate sweet without magic. Good! And while Master Pest still eats it, you can eat me. I've said it a thousand times, I'm not eating you. Disappointment. Come on. Le come on then, let's, uh, let's, I'm using your voice. We'll need to do some research before we go out gathering ingredients. Alright, keep an eye out for an any encyclopedias about plants. Candy Alchemist, what a surprise! And you brought your new assistants. To what do we owe the pleasure? It is the well-dressed ones from yesterday. Are you also looking for books? No, my dear. Our family owns this library. Really? Hmm. You ought to have known that. Certainly, you've lived here long enough by now. <laughs> Fucking flowers. We're always dilly-dallying, so if you're looking for something in particular, allow us to direct you to the proper shelves. How oh, convenient. We need information on a certain plant, so uh, if you could help speed up the process, we'd appreciate it. Glad to be of assistance, Candy Alchemist. We look forward to tasting whatever it is you're synthesizing. I probably just fucked that up. For some reason, I feel like I didn't say that right. Synth synth th <sighs> All of the plants in this book look so interesting. I would like to see some of them in person one day. It's got stuff from all over the world. I'm gonna have to travel pretty far to even see half of these. Traveling with syrup! We would definitely become great friends if we went on a long journey together. Hopefully for this thing, we won't have to go that far. Oh, this page. This is exactly what we need. Frosted Cremilla. Frosted Cremilla. A rare species of vanilla orchid that miraculously thrives in frozen environments. This magical plant will melt into ordinary water when removed from colder climates, but its fruit can last up to three days depending on the storage temperature. Because it is... Because it inexplicably grows from... Cryotic soil, it is believed by some cultures to be born from the tears of a nice goddess. According to this, uh, we should be able to find it on Mount Sherbert, but... But? It's impossible. We definitely need magic to have a chance of finding it. How are you doing? <laughs> I 
Oh, my mom awkwardly walks in. It's fine, don't worry about it. So, we will ask a witch to help us. I'm sure Miss Butterscotch would... Did I even finish reading what... You know what? I don't think I did. We definitely need magic to have a chance at finding it. But... It's impossible. We definitely need a chance at finding it. So, we'll ask a witch. So, Miss Butterscotch... Absolutely not. Then, how do you plan to get the final ingredient? Look, it's not gonna happen. That mountain is home to a ton of monstrous beasts, and it's freezing cold. I'd probably die if I went on my own. I shall accompany you, Syrup. You wouldn't be able to move in those temperatures. You're made out of candy, remember? I'll be fine if you keep me warm. Just put your mouth. Put me in your mouth, then stop. We're not going. Hmm. Who would ever go to such crazy extents just to make some special dessert? Kind of a waste of effort, if you ask me. You're right, Syrup. It is silly. Let's quit. Are you angry? Nope. Master Pastel will not even know that he missed anything. It really just it's just a waste of time. Come drop. Absorbed in thought, Syrup takes her time returning home. Was it worth it to deny her friend? What would surely be the most delicious treat in the world just to hang on to her stubborn pride? She had never thought about it before. Asking a witch for help it seemed impossible for a variety of reasons. But soon, she might just have to.